rises and throws it down. Oh, my goodness. That's oh, my play. goodness. Larry Nance, Jr. Talking about looking like your father. All right, so our friend Baxter Holmes tweeting this out. The NBA contacted Larry Nance Jr. about 2016 dunk contest, but he passed because of, uh, because of his sore knee, ESPN has learned. I personally am so bummed. When I heard this yesterday, I was so sad because I know how much he would love this, not for him, just for himself, but for his dad and the whole story. And I'm bummed, aren't you? It would have been a great story, being that his his dad won the first, you know, slam dunk contest. I think I can't remember what year it was, but uh, but it does take a lot out of you. I mean, this guy right here. W weren't you in the, the dunking contest one or two times, Coop? I was in two of them, and have never made a dunk. Yeah, it's it's tough oh, on your knees. Yeah. People don't realize that little short contest for that week when you're really trying to, you know. Take yourself and do things that you normally don't do. It planting that foot and it jumping off that knee, it's tough, man. I'm, I'm kind of glad he's not doing it because yeah. we need him. That's all fine. I'm bummed. I'm bummed that he's not in it because it would have been a great story. But, but for the longevity of his career, yeah, his and knees the already season. bothering him. Yeah, yeah not worth it. Tough. And it's tough creative-wise. You have to come up with some it's too much thinking, and you know, just a normal dunk is what won't excite the fans. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, his dunks are exciting because he do them in the game, and they're spontaneous, and it just happens. But being out there on that stage alone and doing all that, yeah, that jumping takes its toll on you. Yeah, it does. Well, we will definitely miss him. Hopefully next year. All right, the Lakers tweeting out this photo. It is Dr. Bus Night at Staples. Everyone in the building tonight gets this exclusive commemorative coin. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go to the Laker line. Give us a call, 661-7LA-LINE. Leave a message for Big Game James, and we may use your call here on Lake Show. Dwayne Leslie calling from Yucca Valley. Wondering what's up with Meta World Peace. We need to see him on the flow. All right, thank you. Later. MWP is at the age now where he's a lot older. Uh, I think he's limited. His best forte was always his defense. Uh, his offense seemed to be going good this year, but again, I just don't think he fits into the Lakers' uh, system right now and going forward. Uh, I think he's a great piece to have on the bench because his leadership and I think some of the things he has to offer to them. But uh, don't expect to see him much the rest of the season. I think you'll see him on blowout games. Uh, but the Lakers are looking to move forward, and moving forward means you have to play your young kids. You have to play them a significant minutes to see what they can do and where you can use them in your system. At the beginning of the season, if they had any glimpse, any glimpse of getting that eight spot, he'd be playing. But like Coop said, because he still, I mean, he keeps butt in practice. I mean, he still plays hard. He set an example for some of these young guys. But the fact that they're not going anywhere, you're absolutely right. They're going for the youth movement. He's still vital in practice, yeah. but uh, just, you know, nothing he can do to. Was Chuck Nevitt vital in practice? He was 7'5", seven, 7'7". Seven, seven. He's trying to start something, huh? <laughs> Coming up on Access Sports Bet Lakers. He's trying to get me to say Brandon something Matt, I can't uh -oh, say. Brandon had a season high 10 rebounds against the Mavs earlier this season. He'll be the pregame interview. Thank you too. Who gave a full chair? The <laughs> Lake Show is brought to you by Jersey Mike's. A sub above.